Hi, welcome to another tutorial in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a slit and tab closure to any project that you're working on. So to start, you can see that I have a rectangle on my screen, and this represents the project. So it could be a card or something like that that you want to be able to close and open. So first of all, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. So it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. Now the first thing that we're going to create is the little slot that the tab is going to slide into. So I'm going to come over here to the Custom Shapes tab and click on Import Basic Shape and I'm just going to select a square and I'm going to double click on that again because I'm actually going to need two squares. Now the square came in somewhere else on my mat so I'm just going to zoom back out and find those squares. There they are right there just drag them over here to the area that I want to work in. Zoom back in. Okay, now I'm going to grab the first square and I'm going to line it up where I want the slit to be. So I want to make sure that it's centered evenly on my project. Now you can see if I just scroll over here, I actually have my rectangle sitting right on the middle line on my mat. So I'm going to do the same thing with this little square. I'm just going to make sure it's right on the middle line there. You can see that thick line. And that will ensure that it's evenly spaced from top to bottom. Next I need to position the left edge of the square approximately where I want the slit to appear. So you want it to be in probably about a quarter of an inch from the edge of your project. That's a good a rule of thumb to work from. And of course you can adjust that if you need to. And then the next thing that I want to do is adjust the height of the slit. Now right now this is one inch and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to click to get my resizing arrows. And I'm going to squeeze it up a little bit, make sure it's still centered on the middle of my project. And that length right there looks about good. Now I'm going to come and grab this other square and what I'm going to do with this is move it over. Now you can see as I slide it over top of my original square that I'm ending up with this little area here and that's going to form the slit. So I want this little spot to be the width that my slit is going to be in the end. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge this over because I want it to be fairly narrow. Something like that looks good. You can see there's just a little narrow sliver showing there. The next thing I need to do is do a Boolean join on these two squares so that all that's left is this little sliver. So I'm just going to click and drag so that that blue bounding box surrounds both of my squares. Now you can see that they're both selected because they're both outlined in blue. And I'm going to come down here and select Boolean join click on that. Now you can see that with the first option A minus B difference what happened was the wrong area got deleted. But I've got a drop down list here and I can select all these different types of joins. So I'm going to select B minus A difference and now you can see that I've got that little sliver left and that's what I want. So I'm going to click on my mat to accept that. And now what I'm going to do is making sure that that little slit is selected. I'm going to hold down shift and select my project, which in this case is the rectangle, so that they're both selected. And then I'm going to come down here to join. Click once on that. And now you can see that that little sliver has actually been cut into my project. So that's the slot for my slot and tab closure. Now I'm going to come down to the other end and this is where I'm going to add the tab. So I'm going to come back over here to import basic shape and for something like a card where you want to be able to open and close it easily I like using an oval. So I'm going to grab that, close that and there you can see my oval has appeared. Now I'm just going to rotate it so that it's horizontal rather than vertical. So I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. I've got these curved arrows at the corner and I'm just going to rotate it around and by holding down the control key it constrains my rotation to 15 degrees at a time so that way I know that I can get a precise 90 degree rotation. 
Now, I need to make sure that this is actually going to fit into the little slot that I created. So I'm just going to zoom back out here a little bit and I'm going to grab this oval and just slide it down to the other end of the mat for sizing. Now you can see that that oval is actually a pretty good size right there. I'm going to zoom in again. So what you want is something that's just a little bit smaller than the slit so that it will slide in and out nicely. So that's good right there. So now I'm going to move this back down to the other end of my mat. And I'll just zoom in a little bit closer here. Now again, I want to make sure that it's lined up vertically on the project. So I'm going to make sure that it's right on the line there. And I'm just going to slide it back a little bit. Now you can play with the size that you want your tab to be. I'm actually going to squeeze mine in just a little bit more. Now of course you need to make sure you've got enough overhang so that it will keep your project closed when you want it to stay closed. So that looks good right about there. I'm going to select my oval. I'm going to hold down shift and select the rest of my project, the rectangle. And I'm going to click on weld. And now you can see that I've got a nice little tab at one end of my project and a slit at the other end of my project that that tab can slide into. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and that you get lots of use out of creating the slot and tab closures on your projects.